Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading, uh, audio reading for today. Uh, for those of you Scorpios who are born on November 3rd, this reading is specifically for you. So for those of you who celebrated your birthday on November 3rd, happy birthday. I sincerely hope that your day was as magical as you are. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 3rd to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice, see what I need to shuffle a deck to. We have the power of number six. Wow, power of number six again. You know, I keep seeing like the six of cups in my mind's eye. The lover's card could also kick in. And power of number seven. Okay, so we have a six, six, seven going on. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like we are going to the power of number 19. Some of you Scorpios born on November 3rd could be dealing with a Leo. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June, possibly a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. However, you could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Also picking up the zodiac signs through the number one out of the 19. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Gemini, and Virgo energy coming in again. Strong Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17. And strong Scorpio and Aries energy through the number 16, which would be the tower. Okay. Some of you Scorpios born on November 3rd could have been born in 1961, 1966. 1967 or 1969. Some of you Scorpios born on November 3rd could have been born in 1971, 1976, or 1979. You could have also been born in 1991, 1996, or possibly 1997 for some of you. But we are going to go to the power of number 19. See what the overall message is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November third. What is the overall general collective energy, please? Show me what's up. Mm. Nine of Swords. Are you all up in your head, Scorpio? Do you feel stuck? Do you feel stuck with your romantic life, stuck with your career? You could feel trapped. <clears throat> In your environment right now, some of you Scorpios born on the third could be thinking about wanting to move, wanting a new environment, just a whole new life makeover. However, <clears throat> you could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Oh boy, Page of Swords, <laughs> more sword activity. The Page of Swords has numerous meanings, but however, it is a very strong spying card. Somebody's spying in on you, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to talk behind your back or put you in a stuck position. Or somebody's trying to trap you in your thoughts. Maybe making you question yourself. However, 
The Page of Swords can also talk about research. Could be thinking about going back to school, maybe advancing your career, taking extra classes online, maybe getting a certification course. <clears throat> Swords are all about mental thought process and also vocal communication. You could be spying in on somebody yourself, maybe because you're trying to seek closure and it could be another reason why you're trapped in your thoughts for some of you. We're going to take a deeper look. I, I do feel that there's a romantic situation going on here where somebody hasn't come forward. Mm, Ten of Wands, you guys. Come on now. <sighs> I'm not saying that every single day that you wake up, everything is just, you know, absolute turmoil. But there's a burden. I feel compelled to go into the Kipper deck and also the Hidden Truth Oracle. If somebody could be making it very difficult for you to move forward. This could be friends or family members. Somebody uh, looking at the bottom of the deck, I've got the four of coins. Four of coins can talk about selfishness, greediness, somebody's clinging or holding on, or somebody's exceptionally codependent. You could be spying in on somebody that could be involved with a third party. Maybe they're spying in on you to see if you're involved with somebody. But this Ten of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. And with the Four of Coins, could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn, more specifically. Somebody's not willing to let go or maybe relinquish control. And something here is creating a burden. This can even be a work environment situation. Some of you Scorpios born on the 3rd are taking on far too much work in your environment, work that's not even yours, and it could be creating a lot of mental stress, keeping you trapped, feeling frustrated, and it could be another reason why some of you could be seeking another <clears throat> could be seeking another company for employment. You may also feel some burden here with your money. The overall way I see it, Scorpio, I feel that a lot of you know that your life is supposed to be different. Different than what you are currently experiencing in this present moment. A lot of you are exceptionally creative and talented, and you could feel that your talents are going to waste. There could be a deeper desire to start entrepreneurship, but you could be trapped in your thoughts thinking like, wow, I don't know. I don't know how my dreams are going to come true. You know, it seems like it's just a daunting task to try to work for myself. What, what if I don't get the customers or the clients? What if... You know, there, somebody could feel like they're going through an imposter syndrome. You got to get out of that, okay? You become your own. For those of you born on the third that have been thinking about entrepreneurship or, you know, taking your talents and your creativity and designing it into a business where you're actually making income, you know, you could be questioning yourself thinking like, wow, what do people think I'm an imposter? You know, um, I let these true talents of mine come forward. And what if I get laughed at or um, talked behind my back or whatever? Th there's a lot of insecurity. I'm picking up some insecurity that's going on here with those of you who have been contemplating entrepreneurship. Um, for those of you who are already established in entrepreneurship, you could be taking on far too much right now um, where your weekly and daily goals are not realistic. Uh, you're trying to maybe do everything all at once. You could be putting in well in over 10 hours. Um, you know, some of you may even battle, and I'm not a doctor, but maybe some of you have been diagnosed in the past with ADHD, where, you know, you, you could have such a hyperactive mind 
where either you become too hyper focused on one thing and not balancing not balancing the the most the tasks that are of the utmost importance or prioritizing the tasks that need to be done first. So either way, there there's a burden here. And I'm feeling like it's a burden with career and somebody that you have dealt with before in the past or in the current moment. There could be a lot of mind games going on and it's creating a lot of stress. A lot of you could be contemplating or wondering like, you know, if you've been in no contact with somebody, you know, hey, you know, is this person going to get up in their feelings somehow, some way, maybe wish me a happy Thanksgiving, something like that. You know, um, I'm going to go into the Kipper deck. Change. I got the card number nine. That's clarifying the nine of swords, a change. The change card in the Kipper deck shows a move. So I called that energy out. You could be contemplating whether or not to move in with somebody or to have somebody move in with you. A potential suitor could have asked you to move in with him or her, but there could be contemplation about this, wondering if like, mm, I don't know, is this really going to be of my highest interest? But another reason why, if you're moving out on your own, whether you have kids or no kids, and you're, we'll say, technically single, it, it is showing me that you need some kind of a, a new environment. In fact, I'm going to clarify this change card. Again, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Page of Coins. You may be trying to seek the resources or funding in order to move. Somebody wants to make the offer for those of you in that situation to move in. But again, all up in your head. But again, there's breadcrumbing. There, there's a breadcrumbing energy that's going on here. Page of Coins. The Ace of Wands clarifying the Page of Coins. You know, <clears throat> there is a new beginning here. However, the Ace of Coins is, a, or I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands is, it's a very sexual card. I'm not getting a lot of romantic emotions going on in this reading, especially when, if it's in regards to dealing with a specific person. But for those of you who are not dealing with anybody, there is something here about a massive change or creative pursuit, or you're needing a change in your career that stimulates in a positive way, stimulates your mindset to feel good about yourself, A lot of bright ideas. Again, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. On the bottom of the deck, I have the Empress. You guys are meant to rise to the top of your career. And this can also talk about somebody giving you respect. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. However, I've got Taurus and Libra energy coming in through the Empress as well. Behind the Empress is the Seven of Wands. Somebody... Or it's your trusted ancestors that are trying to protect you from someone in particular. You could have your wall up, your guard up with somebody. You could have even been the one to put an end to a situation, Scorpio, for the mere fact that somebody was disrespecting you and didn't really take into consideration your emotions. Somebody could have laughed off your feelings or emotions for them. Wow, Ace of Wands is being clarified by the Empress. A lot of you just know that you, you're meant for a different life or you need a new life makeover or you're getting tired of the same old, same old environment or the people or friends or you just 
family members that like nothing's changing and again maybe feeling stuck you know between a rock between a hard place two of swords somebody is trying to blindside you to the truth of something or their antics especially if somebody here had asked any of you to move in with them i'm feeling like this is a no-go it's gonna bring in a lot of frustration Ten of Wands, I mean, that's that's kind of like the final outcome. Because I always look at the tarot cards first. Any other cards I use are just clarifiers. Why is somebody here spying on Scorpio? Four of Swords. Huh. Somebody may be wondering if you're sleeping with somebody, Scorpio. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Contemplation, wondering where you're going, what you're up to. Maybe some of you recently took a short sabbatical. You could have taken a short sabbatical for your birthday. Maybe you took your birthday off or maybe went away somewhere for a few days, possibly for some of you. Going back into the Kipper deck, clarifying the Page of Swords. Marriage card. Okay. Whoever this person is, Scorpio, you could have saw the future with them, but their energy, again, is not once but twice coming in as a page. This person is not ready. They're not ready. And, they, and you could be spying in on somebody who is married, wondering if they're going to get a divorce. There's a wealthy man on the bottom of the deck or it could be a wealthy person, wealthy woman. You need to focus in on your wealth, your health, your prosperity, your abundance. What I'm feeling here, Scorpio, is that you deserve better. You deserve better because I have a lot. The way I'm seeing the pattern in the cards, it's like up and then down, up and then down. And it just a roller coaster ride. So in order to get off the roller coaster ride, looking at this two of swords, a definitive decision about your life and where you're headed needs to change. You can't wait for somebody to catch up to you in order to figure out that we'll say in tarot terms that you're the emperor or you're the empress or that, you know, respect is earned, but somebody needs to prove themselves and they're not proving themselves. And I feel like spirit is trying to either protect you from this person or to help you make your own judgment call, even though I don't have the judgment card here, I can see the judgment card in my mind's eye, but the word judgment came out of my mouth to make the right judgment call, to make good choices and to stop teeter-tottering back and forth with whoever this person is. They could view you as somebody also too that maybe you haven't been involved with. I'm hearing another storyline that there is somebody here that has interest. But they could be burdened on how to come forward unto you. They may see the future with you with this marriage card, but it's almost like they shy away or they go back into a form of like a hermit mode. Even if they have your number or maybe you're connected on a social media platform. It almost feels like they get ready to contact you and then they it's like they hold back or they feel burdened. This person in general has got a lot going on, Scorpio. They're not settled. This, this person in truth is really not settled the way my cards are coming up. Ten of Wands being clarified by the Sudden Wealth card. Some of you are dealing with another Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. The marriage card is card number three. Again, that would be Pisces and Aries energy born in the month of March. Burdened.
But again, you could feel burdened by your job. That's the reason why there's a change, something here about a change. There's a message card on the bottom of the deck, card number seven. The message card you could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancerian born in the month of June. A message, which behind the message, the journey card, power number 10. Could be dealing with a Scorpio born in the month of October or possibly a Libra born in the month of October. Journey card. Something about taking a trip or, uh, you know, this person, maybe they've been out of town. You could be gearing up to go out of town this week because of the holidays. Maybe some of you are going to Las Vegas. A lot of times with the sudden wealth card, I always see city of Las Vegas because it has a slot machine. In the imagery, picking up on Bellagio, MGM Grand, Caesar's Palace, Treasure Island, the Mirage, the Wynn Hotel. Yeah, you could be thinking about going to Vegas for some of you. Maybe taking even a trip next year, but maybe this year. Um, I feel with the Sudden Wealth card that... This is about you claiming your birthright, knowing your value and your worth. Again, seven of uh, cups is on the bottom of the deck, confusion, delusional energy, people who could be clouding your judgment right now, Scorpio, or this person that you've been dealing with clouding your judgment, or they have somebody around them that is clouding their judgment, Clarifying the sudden wealth, the three of coins. That can talk about, again, teamwork, collaboration, co-workers. Again, moving on to another job or another company that's more satisfactory because I have the Wheel of Fortune now on the bottom of the deck. Sometimes we have to learn how to be our own fate and destiny, and then those synchronistic things in our life can start to come into play. And then there are times where... Things will fall into our lap as if by magic or serendipity, okay? Going into the Hidden Truth Oracle, because obviously there's a person here that they don't know what they want, Scorpio, or, you know, they've been, they could be talking a lot of smack or just null and void type of things to, to keep you on your on the edge of your toes right now. And, you know, they could have made some empty promises to you. Baby, we're going to be together and we're going to get married and, oh, we're going to live together and all of this. And yet something here, I have no cards that are showing me real forward movement except the change card. But the nine of swords is dominating over the change. So there's a questioning and that questioning comes in from the two of swords questioning, uh, whether or not to stick around, wait around for this person to get their act together. Um, you guys have to make the choice to move forward anyway. Cause I feel like this person is moving like sludge. Especially when I say that, my eyes are looking at that Ten of Wands. Just an uphill battle. If they've got a lot of baggage, Scorpio, you don't need that in your life. You really don't. You don't need extra drama in your life. You've been trying to escape certain dramas of the past. You know, whether it be with friends, family members, etc. Somebody else I'm hearing from Spirit, somebody's making you feel guilty about something. A lot of wishy-washy energy coming up. On the bottom of the Hidden Truth Oracle, I know that I crossed the line with you. Hence, another reason why some of you could have turned your back on this person. Now they're trying to figure out a way to spy in on you. Doesn't matter if you have this person blocked. They, if they know where you live, they could be driving by your house. Clarifying the Nine of Swords. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You could have really felt like this is the man or the woman that got away, you know, and 
you could have been a distraction for them from their pain, a painful marriage, a painful committed partnership that they don't know how to get out of. Clarifying the page of swords, we both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, well, you know what? The reason for that statement is I'm looking at the cards. There's nothing here of real consistency off of this person. It goes from one extreme to the next. It's like, I love you, then I hate you, and I love you, and I hate you, and I love you, and I don't know what I want, and I love you, but I don't know what I want. You know, no, this person's not solid, Scorpio. They're not, not the way my cards are coming up. Clarifying the 10 of wands, I am becoming a better person. This might be more down the road, but for some of you guys, it might be a little bit too late. Because after a period of time, feelings start to change, you know? They start to change. I'm going to go into the Romance Angels deck. You know, this person, they've breadcrumbed you enough, Scorpio. You don't need this. You need to stay in that emperor or empress mode and keep looking ahead. You are the only one that's going to create the bright and joyful future for yourself right now. Clarifying the nine of swords, unrequited love. This, <laughs> there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is the where the battle's at. And the reason for you being stuck in your thoughts, not once but twice, nine of swords, two of swords. You see the future in a grand way, possibly with this person. But because of their wishy-washiness or if they're dealing with a toxic karmic wife or husband or third party and, you know, there could have been a, an affair going on here. No judgment. It's just what they're dealing with is not consistent. It's a burden. They have baggage. And a lot of you are getting tired in this scenario, not all of you, but are getting tired of waiting for this person to do the right thing or make the appropriate decision. This person, if you know, if they're professing that they love you, why? Why do they love you? You got to ask them that. Why do they love you when there's no real action that's going on here? I have energy that is at a standstill with the four of swords. I have no chariot. I have no six of swords. I have no eight of wands to show me any kind of real movement that this person, and so they're keeping you, it feels like they're keeping you floating, Scorpio. Whatever the situation is, they're keeping you floating or suspended in time and space, and they don't have the right in truth. You got to gotta think clearly about this. They don't have the right to do that to you. And because they're not making the right moves, now it's becoming an unrequited love because your feelings could be in this gray area right now where, again, feeling stuck and you could be more reminiscing about the past or the passion or the love making or but it's not enough. That's the thing. It's not enough. I have no 10 of cups. I have no 10 of coins. I have no ace of cups, no ace of coins to show me major commitment that this person is being truthfully authentic and real with you. And it feels like they are keeping you on the edge, like a puppet on a string or walking on eggshells with them. But listen, two pages, that's breadcrumbing. Bottom line, they're breadcrumbing you. It's not right. That's the thing. It's not right and it's not fair. Deception. Clarifying. <clears throat> I'm using the Game of Thrones deck. The Page of Swords is one of the characters from Game of Thrones called the Harpy. And the Harpy is wearing a mask and the Deception card came out. And the person who's in the Deception card in the Romance Angels deck has a mask on. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. You guys put two and two together. I know you care about this person and you see great things, but they're not doing great things. That's the thing. They're not doing great things in order to make you feel secure, make you feel safe in this relationship dynamic. On the bottom of the deck 
It is true. Yes, spirits, it is true. You deserve love, Scorpio. You are lovable. But this person is not doing right by you. They may become a better person in the future, but not now. It's not happening now. The clarifying the Ten of Wands, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. In the meantime, bottom of the deck, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So your career and your success has got to come to the forefront. It's not to say that you're not going to love Scorpio or that somebody's not going to love you or that somebody's never going to want you. you got to get out of your head with that. This person, whoever this person is or you did deal with or currently are dealing with now, they're, they're a bad apple, okay? They're a bad apple right now. The fruit is a little bitter. Let's just put it that way. The fruit is not sweet nor ripe in regards to this person. And I feel because you guys are in truth, your higher self is coming in as this emperor, empress energy, okay? You're really lowering, in truth, the way I see it, your value and your worth. It, because you're waiting for this person. You know, Scorpio, you're top notch. But this person is taking it for granted because they're slowing down the process. And these text messages or the things that they're saying or they pop in whenever the hell they want. Listen, you guys, you are lowering your value by entertaining the breadcrumbs. Spirit knows you can do so much better. Behind the finances and career is the romantic feelings card, but it's in the reverse. You could be thinking in your mind, but Mel, they, they were like this and they were doing that. But are they doing it now? Are they doing it now? You probably have already seen the true colors of this person, my awesome Scorpios. And... There could be even like the two of swords can talk about denial. So for those of you who are trailing behind a bit in your thoughts and in this like feeling of waiting stage, don't wait for this person, please, please don't wait for them. The worth waiting for is to worth is, is to find your divine counterpart. This person has falsified a lot of things. And not only that, because I'm looking at this deception card, clarifying that page of swords and the marriage card is clarifying the page of swords. This person, if they haven't told you, some of them may be married behind the scenes and they did not tell you. They could be keeping it hush, hush. I'm hearing the phrase hush, hush off of the four of swords because the four of swords is a very quiet energy. So as far as the romantic aspect, whoever this person is, Scorpio, like my grandfather would say, drop them like a hot potato because they're, they're giving you the runaround. They're giving you the runaround. And, you know, if they're saying, move in with me and let's say you started to pack, but then there's a delay Somebody here is making you play chicken run with them. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. Seeing Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks in my mind right now from that movie. Catch me if you can. That's what it feels like. And the way I see it. You can't be, when we talk about tarot terms, you can't be in an emperor and empress mode and not know where your future is going because your intuition would be that keen, which it is, but there's a decision or somebody's having a hard time making a decision or they're having a hard time making a decision towards you. You don't have time for that. You need to go and see beyond what's going on here. Sure. In the next three months, it could take this person another three years because the three of coins, coins represent months or years. 
you could have been in a situation with this person for the last three years, back and forth, back and forth. If not, for some of you, probably longer than that. But it could take them another three years to get out of some form of burden and them keep, you know, them making pie crust promise to you. Because there is deception. They're prolonging things. Because if they're prolonging something or getting a divorce or, or trying to break away from a toxic, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be, they're, they're going to they're gonna make you drag your feet, Scorp. They're going to make you drag your feet. You don't want that. So, no. You guys are better than this, the way I see it in the cards. So, because the Wheel of Fortune, looking at the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune, you may end up meeting somebody new out and about with friends, three cups behind the Wheel of Fortune. That's like celebration and victory. You start manifesting. For those of you who feel like you're in this unrequited love with this person, cut the cords. Doesn't mean that you don't care about them. Doesn't mean you don't love them. Cut the cords of energy between you and them. Some of you might need to do a cord cutting ritual to, to the ties that bind that are keeping you stuck from staying in this empress because this empress or empress mode, because if you keep trailing behind with them and they're making you drag your feet, walking on eggshells, accepting the breadcrumbs, all of this, you guys are getting off of your throne. That is not what you're supposed to be doing. Your abundance is showing me that it's somewhere else. And you're in, and you can do better. I feel like you can do better, Scorpio, despite the fact that, you know, these may be very heavy, deep-rooted emotions. But they're giving me breadcrumbs. They're giving me deception. And, and somebody who is taking their sweet ass time. You don't have time for that. My awesome and amazing Scorpios born on November 3rd. Again, I sincerely hope your birthday was as magical as you are and that you had time to spend with either trusted family members, loved ones, friends, etc. Get your goals Focus in on your goals. See what you can wrap up before the end of the year. If you can't get the larger projects done before December 31st of 2023, focus in on the smaller stuff. It'll make you feel really good about you and make you bond and determined to make 2024 another great year for yourself, okay? Don't let this person hold you back from making other decisions for yourself because they're just, again, giving you breadcrumbs. You don't need that, so... If you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.